Looky here. It's the Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. Thanks for downloading our uh, podcast. Go to patandjt.com to find out where you can find it. 402-403-9478. Love getting your text, your voicemails, and all as always, it's Pat and JT. This, um, my Instagram, headphones Twitter, are really and Facebook. loud. Are That's they? the first time I've probably ever said that, that my headphones are really yeah, loud. That's I don't not know me. That, I don't know if see them. We have four. That's, not, that's me. There, there we go. Just a little bit more. Okay. Either that or you're really loud. Well, turn up, no, turn up just a little bit more. Turn up just a little bit more. Okay. I'm, I'm always loud. Oh now it's warm in here. It's Hi. warm in here. Hi, Fremont Fred. Yeah, that's oh why it's God. warm in here. That's what oh, it hey is. What, oh, yeah. I'm Fred taking up a lot of space. In Place there, is but on fire is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire, all right. Yeah. So, uh... I wish we were recording 14 seconds before we actually started recording. Yeah, that was a good we conversation. Were we were talking about some uh, text messages and some certain no. people, not just you, not just you specifically, but we were picking people on JT a little Let's bit. But say. that's how we got into it. Some people use extremely large fonts on their text okay, first messages on their phones. Disclaimer: <laughs> I don't. My font is not that big. <laughs> she said. <laughs> she, she said. <laughs> he said. Yes, it is. Yes, it it's, is. It's, it's not. No, it's not that big. Okay. But there, I could have right. Sw- no, that's right. Not that that's big. not big. I could have sworn it was bigger in the past, but that's just me. New Whatever. phone. We have new, new phone. this. New, new phone. New <laughs> this. Don't know. Can't read it. Font too small. <laughs> Enlarge that font. Uh, um, it's hilarious. But, but we, we have, see somebody with huge text messages. We know somebody right. mutual. They're all yeah, three of us. So we know somebody, right? Sorry. Yeah, when you um, got to scroll every letter just to get a word out. Oh, and I know. And he knows. I made fun of him. It's less from the bullpen. <laughs> and I made fun of him when he what, handed me his phone. Well, he's used to that up and down motion, I think. Usually it's oh, more than one finger. What, what? But stop, so he, everything stop. he does oh has got to be gosh. in that stroking. Well, that's because fingers. they're pretty handy. Oh, exactly. Semen Vogler Very Center. Very true. Right? That's oh, what funny, 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 funny thing about what uh, what you just said about that is my son, for his birthday, he's put all of his birthday money together and got a... Uh, Oculus um, v- virtual reality. Oh, virtual headset. reality glasses. Oh, yeah, it headset. is. Uh, it's incredible. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. But he uh, and so we've got all these fun games that we're playing. But he was in his he was in his room <laughs> yeah last night, and we heard like oh. some banging around. And like, and I walked over <laughs> the door, and the door was locked. And Mike said, "Hey," and I didn't know at the time that he had his headset on. Oh God! And I heard him. I said, uh, "Knock on the door." B, what's up? He goes, oh, what? What? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Dad. I'm, all, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And Beth's like, what are you doing? He goes, just don't come in. I'm almost done. Right? And he walks, fumbles over to the door, and you hear, like, the doorknob. And he opens it, and he's got his headset on, looking up in the air, and both of his hands are doing the motion that you're talking about. But he's playing like a lumberjack, like he's climbing up a tree thing. Oh, so he's... So he's but smaller, oh. smaller jacks. <laughs> so I just said, oh... I couldn't believe it. Like, oh my gosh, are you so, kidding me? So what was this game? It was a lumberjack. It was a lumberjack. You had to climb a tree. It was like a that game competition. Is a, it's called lumberjack? It's, no, it's not called lumberjack. It's I never like, used to call it lumberjack. One, <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the competitions in it was like you had to climb a tree real fast. It's okay. fun. It's fun. It really is fun. Okay. All right. So Interesting. 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 Yeah. I've never no, is, it, yeah. You said Oculus. I have no idea. Is Oculus. that like the one that hooks to your phone? No. Uh, it's it's one, just a complete game. This is system. a complete game. Yeah. It's, on, it's like a 128 gig thing that's on your face and it's got two wands that you hold on to. It looks ridiculous from the outside. Oh, end. I saw the commercial with the wands it, where they did the, it looks like he's got lightsabers is, or whatever. Yes. Honestly, it is incredible. Have you videotaped each other while you're wearing it? Yes. It's it's so fun. That's probably hilarious in the game itself. <laughs> Beth, Beth does the, the, like playing. The, there's a game where these different colored cubes come at you, and there's an arrow on it to where you're supposed to slice your sword, and it, you do it to music, like to block them, and then things come at your head. You got to duck. Well, she her technique is the T Rex, so her elbows are like up against and going like this, <laughs> like like a little T Rex hands. And Bennett and I are getting into it, and you know we got to it's. It's a blast. It reminds me of the Wii Bowling and that when it came out. Oh, my God. My Wasn't wife, that? Like, I look like such an idiot. I'm, like, really getting into it, trying to bowl in the living room. In it, my was so, it was, but it, that was so much fun. That it was, was like, fun. that was crazy when that first came out, the whole, that, that whole setup um, for Pete's sake. And then this is just the next, just the next level. Like, I, you know, I'm not a gamer at all. Zero. I will not sit in front of a screen and play games, but 
Honestly, You'll lumberjack is, all day, huh? Right. I'll, I'll lumberjack I all day. <laughs> like I said to Verz a couple weeks ago, give me 90 seconds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Quickest games I need right here. Right. I need a lot more games. <laughs> like, so it's pretty sweet. What level are you on? No, kidding. There's a whole bunch no, of them. I know. I'm sure you've been through a few of them. Master he, right away. <laughs> <laughs> I tested out of all the novice phases in just three. I oh, out. my God. I'm a doctorate. <laughs> so have we ever, yeah, we, we introduced you, didn't we? I don't know. I don't think. I think it does Fremont. Matter. I think we said Fremont. I think Fred, we did. Okay, good. We did Wait a minute. Did we already skip past that part? Because we kind of got I thought It was right. said in there somewhere, yeah, I think. You just uh, popping by, say hi, see what's going down. Before the holidays hit, got past Thanksgiving, um, rolling into Christmas. Uh, well, heck yeah, in a week. Yeah, a week. Cannot believe it. It'll be over with. A week, three days from my birthday and anniversary. It's uh, big two month. days from mine. Oh, that's right. I forgot birthday. about that. Birthday. You guys both Jeez, have birthdays in December? Thanks a lot. 13th, 14th. My wife's on Christmas. Really? My wife's Son's on the 28th. Oh oh Son's on the 4th. Yeah, December's. Oof. December. Crazy. My parents' anniversary. By. Yeah. Good folks. All coming up. Well, that's what she claims, too. I, I, <laughs> I get outvoted in the house. But yeah. <laughs> that's how it usually goes. Well, it that's does. all right. Yeah, I'm not so. even in the Christmas spirit, though, this year. Oh. We were just talking about the other day. She's usually the big decorator, and neither of us are very motivated this year. It's kind of weird, because you know what? I have my lights up. Okay, guys, put my lights up. I don't do it, but yeah, they came and put my lights up. I haven't had them on yet. They put oh, them up really? like two weeks ago because they, you know, they put me early on the. I'm one of those. The lights are up early, and it's like you haven't turned them on yet. No. Now you're talking outside lights. Yeah. Why are you so? Are you depressed? You okay? I just forget. <laughs> are they on a timer? <laughs> you have dudes no, put them up. So you just manually put them on. I just on? keep forgetting to plug them in because they put. Well, I didn't want them lighting up on November first. So they put them up at the beginning of the month of November before Thanksgiving because they try to get everybody's done by oh, that right. Thanksgiving week is crazy. Which is right? a smart should have been that do. person so, running them at November first. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? I saw so many houses that were. Oh yeah, there's plenty. When, you, of when those. you're talking about not having the Christmas spirit, there is plenty of spirit out there. I don't know if it's spirit though. I don't do know these people that do that that early if well, it's actually spirit. That's true. I, I'm not sure. They I guess I haven't went up and too. knocked on the door to yeah. actually see who they are. <laughs> who are these people? And why yeah. are all your lights on already? <laughs> what Jeepers. are you doing? But yeah, I just I keep forgetting to go out. I got to remember to do that just to plug them in because the timer is on them. You I just have to plug it into the timer. Mm -hmm, and I forget. Every, until every day, the next morning I go to bed and I turn off the outside lights. I remember to do that. I just yeah. Remember. Just leave them on twenty four seven. Can't be Why that not? expensive. Can't be right. <laughs> Can't be. Electricity's cheap nowadays. It'll be fine. It'll no be big fine. deal. Just turn them on. I might just change one of the light bulbs outside to green or something and call it. I do have a couple of green bulbs I could throw out there. Be you the lazy that, guy yeah. that's going to buy those new projectors. I did. I, I, it up. I totally uh, <laughs> mailed it in about two years ago, where I just went to uh, Walgreens twenty nine ninety nine, the one that shoots about nineteen <laughs> yeah, high beam lasers of spinning. I think Santa's. we talked about this, didn't yeah. we? Because I was giving him so much crap for doing. It. I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, that's someone so in our much. neighborhood has a countdown <laughs> clock. Now there's one that is a countdown <laughs> clock. It shoots at the side of your house at twenty seven days till Christmas oh, or whatever. God. How many kids do they have? You know, I haven't paid that much attention. They probably don't have at least any. a couple. Yeah. That's my, my cul-de-sac. There are kids that live at the one end, and they're all, like, right in the mud with this right now. This, they're, they're deep in, in the Christmas. Like, they're, like, the, every year yeah. there's the, the snowmen and the mm -hmm. Christmas lights and all that good stuff. Everybody else has seen a couple Christmases. Right. And That's where we're at, too. <laughs> and there's yeah. no other kids on the, on the street. Yeah. Those are the only ones on the whole street. Yeah, I can't explain so it this year. The year flew by. Just does mm -hmm. not feel like Christmas. Does it, is it and weird just, when you think about the fact, like, Husker football's done. And yeah. and you were just, every year we go through this. We were just so with, excited about the season. And and spring game, and it was, you know, everything yeah. was, everybody was so cranked yeah. and, and spring game, and then, and poof, it just blows by. So you're right about that. It was, it was a fast year. You'd think as painful it is to watch <laughs> that it would be slower. Maybe mind, that's why we forget about it. It's, yeah. The mind's protecting we you. Protect, it, we protect ourselves from trauma. <laughs> I just, <laughs> Try not to even watch. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I know that's that's too bad. But the, it's the people that that are quick to get them up. The Christmas lights, Christmas decorations, mm -hmm. usually are also quick to get them down. I notice it because it's the, the right. late bloomers, the half assers like me. Leave my, them till March. My ship of half assers. <laughs> I know. I we know drift what it and is. we drift until February or March. You, yeah, you, it's the uh, procrastinators. Well, and then once you put them up, you're like, well, I'm getting my, my value right, out of right. this. Yeah. So those. Staying up, right? <laughs> well, the thing with stay, me, the yeah. terrible things, I honestly could get away with not putting it up at all. Yeah, but then I actually feel guilty, and I'm not sure why. I know. Yeah, because you know commercialism I mean? my, wins. The kid's 16 years old; he doesn't care. <laughs> right. Just make sure the presents are good. The checks my, clear. My he daughter doesn't. Care. Care. My daughter cares a lot. She loves Christmas, loves decorations, loves ornaments. But 
we we pick out an ornament every single year, and mm-hmm. the last two years has been it's like that. Just get me one. Just grab some. Just grab <laughs> some. I got you know him, what I want. I got you him a want. pickle. <laughs> Get him a lumberjack. I, I got him a lumberjack. <laughs> Put him a nice axe or something. That'll be good enough. Yeah. So, oh my God. So, 16 years old. Just yeah. had the birthday too. No, yeah, he just okay. did. So, so just license. a weird transition. Yeah, and I know you just went through it, didn't you, Pat? Mm-hmm. It's where all, it's, it's where awesome. it's, they need you, need you, need you, and you got to do this, and you're like, boy, it's going to be great sometime when he can do this himself. Yeah. Then you're like, Crap, what do I do? And then it sucks. Yeah. Like, what do I do? Like, buddy, you need me to give you a ride? Can I please give you a ride? I'll <laughs> drive you everywhere I go. You realize what your identity is wrapped up in. Right. Well, exactly. Ah. And now with that, but then that you get past that in about <laughs> three weeks. And then now By it's January just. January 1, I should be good. It's, you should be fine. Fantastic. Yeah. No problems then after uh-uh. he's been mm-hmm. driving. He's gaining confidence. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. He's yeah. gaining confidence in it. Okay. So doing his, him and his, like him and his buddies go. The, yeah, he, the for the first six months, you can only have you and like one, one person, one other person. Yep. So, um, he's, uh, he is, ha, he'll be past that in yeah. a couple months. It's so weird mm-hmm. how strict they are on all that stuff anymore. It, I don't I remember mean, that for when we were not a clue. Well, and yeah. I, it wasn't, you know, it's funny. Like now, like with the learner's permit, he actually, he took the driving test when he took the learner's permit. Mm-hmm. Well, back when we did it, all you did was went up and filled out the form and walked out with your picture and yeah. you still had to take the had, driving test. Yeah. You don't now. That's true. The written's over. He had to just drive Yeah, and he passed that oh, in 20 wow. minutes and you're done. Yeah. And you don't even have to take that if you do driver's ed. If you do and driver's a, ed. And Bennett did do driver's mm-hmm. ed. So, and he got a certificate from the state for right. passing driver's ed. All he's got to do is take it up there and he's the done. Written. Yeah. That's sweet. We skipped the driver's ed because our insurance company didn't give us a discount for it. And I, I wasn't going to spend 300 either. bucks. Right. So I'm like, eh, that's kind of silly. But. Yeah, I don't think ours did either. And, and on top of it, it was summertime. I had stuff I had to go do. Yeah. Our, our driver's ed was during the summer. It wasn't during school. Well, year. I don't mind torturing him. I don't care if he has nothing better to do. But <laughs> right. If we're not getting a discount for <laughs> well, it, I'm not giving him 300 yeah. bucks. That's it. Is he your oldest or youngest? He's our only one. The only one. Only one. God. That's a little bit harder for you when when that, I mean, at, yeah, be- at the beginning. Really. <laughs> At the beginning, maybe, but then no. It's, <laughs> I love he'll, it. He'll be all right. He's already trying. He's got plans for us to put us in a home. Everything yeah. is good. There yeah. you go. Yeah, he's already talking about but it. Well, you got to, as an only child, you got to think, I'm an only child. Yeah, you you, you got to think about these things. It's but you got like, to do it yourself, kind of. You right? can't trust him to get the right insurance. We're going to set it to, up. Well, I, yeah. well I, you, they will, they will, a, a good only child will firmly uh, encourage you. To make your plans because you need to get because <laughs> I don't I'm not a professional caregiver and so I will no initials I won't after be. your name not one initial <laughs> and after I my will name not be, no. <laughs> and, uh, but I will love to come see you oh. <laughs> I don't I don't know any parents though that would that w- are excited to have their kids take care of them at that no. age my parents don't the, the insured my my parents are insured up to their eyeballs so that I never have to change any article of clothing on that's what my of most of no, my parents nice. were the same way because it was like we are no you are not going you. to do that that's not oh. going to happen. We know. I say how you make a PB and J. <laughs> I'm not letting you do anything for me. Let's, and we so joke with Jacob all the time about yeah. it. You know, I always tease him, and well, and I tease about anybody. Uh, the wife's grandmother was in a nursing home here not long ago, and yeah. we were there. And I always joke as people will say, "Gosh, you don't want to be in a nursing home." And I'm like, "What are you talking about? I cannot wait to yeah. crap myself <laughs> and sit here and make somebody come change my pants." And the nurses will just be like, "I'm retiring I, before you I, get I, to that age." Tell me where you're going. <laughs> Because I will not work there. <laughs> Does her insurance cover me now? I mean, are we good if I just take care of this now? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's some of the places that you can live. It's like, heck, why would I, I want my, I don't want you all hanging over my shoulder. I'm fine. Right. Alone, right? But and and, and this, your second season, one of the podcasts we produced yeah. here at Parkville, they did an episode a few months ago where they talked about that. Uh, like the old folks home is like the new college dorm. Like yeah. they're, they're knocking it out all over the place. Right, like they're right. going from room to room, mm-hmm. hitting it before and after mm-hmm. they had to uh, basically have institute programs, uh, kind of to inform some of the residents about some precautions. <laughs> like, like Red Bull came in and showered them all with condoms. Like they do at, <laughs> at spring break. Shooting them with a hot yes. dog gun down yeah. the hallway. Like, okay, guys, you gotta take, I don't care how old you are. You still have to take some precautions here. Let's okay. You go. gotta still think ahead a little yeah. bit. But that's just, that's hilarious though. And you're probably right because you, things have changed so much from, say 40 years ago, 30 years ago, you go back to the seventies oh, and eighties. Yeah. What was the, the quote old folks home, right? Right. Or retirement. Now it's retirement village or a a living. living. Imagine a, yeah. just this 
Oh, oh just my God. a single guy running around in those assisted living places all I, day long? I have a feeling that it happens more often than, and probably a couple oh. of the girls too. Oh, I guarantee it. <laughs> Say, I guarantee it. What was it? There was a, I can't remember. There was a TV show. What was the TV show? And that was part of the plot line. It was it was part of the the, the segment that they were doing. And one of the guy's dads went to live in a retirement home. And uh, anyway, it came out that he had something, <clears throat> that he caught something. And so he was told he had to let everybody know that he'd been with. And he didn't want to do it. And so, well, you're not going to do it. Then we're just going to have to tell everybody. And so they went and they said, here's the deal. There are, there are things, some things that you guys have to be careful <laughs> about. And so if any of you have been with my... My grandfather, oh my gosh. you're going to need to get checked out. And like they all stood up. And so, and so it was, Can and you all the women. imagine having to have that right? conversation with They're your They're all grandfather. looking at each other, but the laughter, it was just like, oh my God. And they weren't embarrassed. So that's the funny part. It was, it was just like, mm, no, no, it was me. I Grandpa. mean, whatever. Grandpa's been running around here dirty. Give me the right. script. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's been riding dirty. Oh my God. No, that, that even, that is I don't so like that saying when you're talking about that, really. That so yeah. gross. <laughs> I'm going to say no. That is so gross. So anyway. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so you got no agenda. You got nothing going down? Nothing? No, no. Just your normal stuff in Fremont. That's, That's all fine. right. You, know, you got some, uh, what have we Vermont. got, a big Ponzi scheme going over there now that got busted. Did they really? Yeah. What? I didn't hear about that. Yeah. Hey, I don't. Can we talk about it? Sure. We're just sitting around talking at the table. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my wife's going to yell at me because I always say the word wrong, but a Dodge County Sheriff, I always say it weird. That's like not I got normal. An accent. That's not normal to me. That sounded good. It's bad. Maybe I said it. Dodge, where are you, Dodge from, where are you sure? from originally? Fremont. You're from from Fremont. Fremont. Okay. Fremont. And, 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 and Fremont? where's the accent supposedly on? Gosh, I don't know. Like the Dodge, a little bit of Dodge, slowness side. Dodge. <laughs> no, Dodge. Slow. I have the slow accent. Yeah. <laughs> that's not an accent. That's called an impediment. That's, an impe- that's <laughs> I right. Gonna, that's I was right. going to be polite and say drawl. <laughs> it's a drawl. It's an, it's an impediment. Okay. Anyway, Coogler Vision. Proud supporter, maybe. Hopefully, they're a proud supporter of our <laughs> Pat and JT podcast, but they are one nonetheless. They are, and we're proud to have them as That's a supporter. Don't true. want to necessarily put words in their mouth. That's true. You realize what's coming up, don't you? The New Year's, and then we're going to be in what year? 2020. This is it for Coogler Vision. We're yep. in the year of 2020. So now is the perfect time to make your move. Uh, there are several reasons. We're going to go down the list for you. Let's start off with just having glasses in general in the winter, uh, fogging up. Your contacts are so much drier in the winter. And that's miserable. Everything's as well. drier in the winter, especially your eyes. Right? Yeah. So, this would be a great time to make that appointment. Get that consultation in there and find out what it is that can be done to correct your vision so you can toss the glasses or toss the contacts. And how about going into 2020, seeing as close to 2020 as you possibly can? Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd what be a great gift. Fantastic, right? That would be an awesome gift. Plus, guys, before the end of the year, don't forget if you have. Either account, either the FSA or HSA, which is the flexible spending or the, I think it's a health spending account, right? Um, either one, if you if you save for things like this and you're like, what am I going to spend this on? I've saved up some money. You've got some that's in there. They have the promotion that they're doing right now. They're giving you two times, two times the dollars. That doesn't, and this is the right? time of year when you look at that, you're thinking, I, this money's good. You lo- use you, it or use lose it. Lose it. it. Yeah, that's so it. don't lose it. And especially if they're going to double it. Double it. My gosh, yes, take advantage of that. And time is running out. We know that the calendar says so, but not only that, things get hectic because people have those FSA and HSA accounts and they're all of a sudden wanting to cash them in. And so spots are limited. So do it. Just get that appointment. Get online. They have a scheduler right online. And not only that, after you make that appointment, they're going to ask you a few questions so they know a little bit about you. One of the questions is, where did you hear about Kugler Vision? You're hearing it right now on the Pat and JT podcast. But Please Pat let and JT them podcast, know. It, yeah, it helps them. It helps us. It helps us. It, it really does you. because we want them to know that you're our listener um, and that you've been with us. And believe me, they will take really good care of you. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. So kuglervision.com. Anyway, he, uh, this gentleman, I've known him for a long time and a lot of people have, but he had a uh, tactical solutions store and was faking paperwork to say that he had all these large contracts and then was getting partners to come in and giving him millions of dollars and a bank. And I think it's up around $12 million. That's ballsy. I mean, you know, how was he planning to turn that around? Well, that's my thing is, is I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him for quite a while. Um, but my thing was, is I'm curious as to what happened to where it was like, Ooh, this is a good idea. Or, 
I need money quick. This is the only way I can do it. You like, know what and, I mean? And it happened Without, once, and it was so and easy. Then you to get, get in bus deep and you're enough. Like, oh my like, gosh, that well, was well. I got to pay this back and this. I mean, because then I have to do it again to pay this guy, right? right. And then and I have to do it again in, to pay this guy. You're just screwed. But yeah. it, you know, one of his neighbors, I think it was a couple million dollars, and then I know a couple other people personally, fifty thousand yeah. here, hundred thousand there. They were investing because so like, he had these, just like Bernie Madoff, but on a smaller same level. concept. Same concept. Yeah, he he was forging documents from the federal government, claiming he had a Department of Defense contract to buy certain products and then resell it to them. I wouldn't even know how to... You know what I mean? I'd get lost in the paperwork. It'd be a dead giveaway. It's like, did you see what she wrote on this piece of paper? Right. She is fraud. Yeah. You know, she is fraud. Get her out of here. I don't know enough people in the banking community. The question I had was, is because the one bank... Uh, I guess, don't quote me. I won't even say the name of the bank because okay. I'm not 100% sure. But the bank, he was... I guess he de he fraud defrauded, frauded, however you want to say that. <laughs> he took him the paperwork and the guy that cut that loan for... $10 million or what? I mean, I would think there had to be a lot of signatures on that there loan to, to approve there had to that. Be. It couldn't yeah. be just one person you know, that I'm screwed like up. thinking, wow, how many people are getting canned over that? Yeah. I mean, because, granted, the paperwork's that, there, but That's where they talk still. about that rubber stamping. You know, it's like yeah. people not really delving into it, and they say, well, so-and-so signed it, so I'll just sign yeah. it. Right. They signed it, so I'll just I, sign and it. And maybe they'll find out that down the road some of those people were involved, too, that wasn't. Well, and you never know. You know I mean, really, that, yeah. that stuff's usually a lot deeper than yeah. you know. And and. The FBI yeah. is involved and oh all that. I mean, goodness. it's a huge deal. And so now it's, you will you won't hear about most of it. Most of it will get, yeah. you know, he got arrested and all that good stuff. It'll go away now. Just it will. You, you maybe hear at the end yeah. of the day what happened to him, but you probably won't hear about yeah. anybody else. But Interesting. No, so just that normal that's stuff. It. That's about so it. So do you have like a, like a meeting spot in the mornings? You hang out with the guys? In Fremont? Yeah. No, there used to be uh, like my dad and all of his brothers and those guys because my dad had 15 brothers and sisters, so the family's really oh big. Oh, my God. That's why you had one. That's right. I'm okay. done. Right. <laughs> okay. The family not is doing that. everywhere. Yeah. They're not sharing underwear. We're done with <laughs> that. <laughs> but they used right. to meet at a place called Doe's Bar in Fremont that's still there, and they used to play cards and things like that. There's a couple of places. But that, it's weird because that stuff is going to the wayside. That's what I was going to say. Is that generational? Because that's not, my dad and his buddies, and they're not all of the same age, but pretty close. Um, but they meet – and they have their morning mm -hmm. coffee. And there's some that there's the core group. And then there's the, the ones that, that kind of weave yep. in and weave out. You don't see it nearly as much. Even in the small yeah. towns, you know, some of the real small towns, Hooper, Nebraska, things like that. Yeah. You know, we have relatives up there. Some of those people will still hang out. But a lot of them, when they start to die off, then a few of the guys, it's just not fun anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. JoJo's gone and blah, it's gone. It's just, and they it's just weird quit. That the younger generation, though, doesn't do that. Because these guys have yeah, been and doing I don't this know forever. Because my, my dad and his buddies, they've been doing that for years. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I don't understand Long time. why. I mean, I don't know why I don't do it. I guess nobody else does. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to sit there by I myself. I don't know who I would call to go. I mean, Fred, unless you, you want to go. Do you want to go? I don't have any friends. You have any friends? But, like, I would, I, I would, I would want to sit there like every day and well, drink a cup of coffee. Thing. Like, for, like, hey, what's up? Same thing yesterday? Okay, cool. Slam the well, coffee. Like, they go. sit there. They have the political talks and they get uh, deep into local government stuff and they, you know, talk about, you know, them, some, some rumors. Of course, there's always some scandal. It's like whatever the local Kardashians are doing, whoever they may be well, you know or whoever about. whoever one of their buddies is that's in the nursing home that's giving yeah. everybody the clap you know <laughs> did you hear what russell did the other day yeah oh. he got caught finally got caught. oh my god i guarantee you that that's a conversation you know that happens you know that's a conversation you know that happens i don't even know where you go anymore too because there are just a few of those kind of restaurants left that, yeah there's um, not the small town little cafe really i mean yeah they lost it in ashland there were a couple um but like Trying to even think because right now they go. I think it's Subway. Yeah, you there's know, one it's, in it's Fremont, like a, but these guys are all business guys that it's show more, up in the yeah. back and they try and act like they're the Sopranos or something. I know a lot of them used yeah. to go to Granny's. Granny's was a good one. The Stable Bar was another good one. Stable Bar burned down. Granny's is gone. All the that's probably the Gateway Inn is gone. That was go. another one. Yeah, yeah there's, you're right. There's, you can go to Starbucks mm -hmm. or there's scooters. You can do all that kind and of that's stuff. That's not the but. same. Then you got to sit there with them yuppies. Right? <laughs> Sorry oh to everybody who sits at Starbucks and scooters. We sound like the old, we sound like no, the people, the old people sitting we're, at a coffee we're, place. We're talking about the old people. Guess we're going to have to go to the barbershop. Gotta, <laughs> that's the other one, too, the barbershop. That was another one. You drive by Pat's barbershop in Ashland. There was always, he took no appointments. And so there's everybody was just there waiting their turn. You just go sit down at the card sit table. And wait. There's and only one of those barber shops and, yeah. left in Fremont. I mean, it's all it's all franchise stuff yeah. now. You know, one guy's a locally owned, and then you got your 
Well, yep. I'm not even going to say their names. You know who they are. All mm-hmm. the corporate franchise jobs are all over. Nobody sits there. And I feel bad for the small business owners like that that have had those barbershops or coffee yeah. shops forever. But when you're looking at it, if you're going to go get a, a haircut and you can get a haircut for $9 for four kids right. nine, or 50, 20 bucks a piece, you got to go. You go to well, the cheaper one. I will say that too. Like, like Pat's, it was just he retired and nobody took his place. Yeah, nobody, and I think that's the... The problem in a lot of the smaller towns, because then, like you said, you right. have the people do the franchise, and then they bring people in and hire people to do the barber shop in Hooper. I yeah. used to drive from Fremont up there to get a haircut because his haircuts were five dollars. Now, granted, you're getting a five dollar haircut, uh, but it's yeah. five dollars. I mean, my hair's <laughs> not that hard to cut. You know what I mean? But I hear what you're saying. There's a couple I know in uh, part older parts of Omaha, North Omaha. South Omaha, where it's they still, still have the barbershop type atmosphere. It's all taxed now, though. Yeah. They got a. Yeah, that's true, too. I think that barbershop's up and to like 11 bucks now. It's, that's another thing. There's licensing oh, yeah. requirements and all that. That's where, it's, yeah, you do. used to throw the business. farm journal in your lap. That's what he called the farm journal. It was Playboy magazine <laughs> for all you risque people. That's right. But that's what he'd call it. I mean, he would ask even young yeah. teenage boys, hey, you want a farm journal? It's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> <That's laughs> awesome. They'll make them sit still for a little while. They're yeah. sitting there going, huh? Yeah, they're, not, they're not getting up. No, they're not getting up. <laughs> Don't pull that apron they off. Gotta, We're good for a get, minute. You're going to have to leave it here for a minute. That's why the capes are like that. <laughs> okay. I yeah. never thought about that that's before. That's why the capes are like that's that. That's what it is. I took, I took our son there, I think, twice. I took him there once, and he was really young. And Don, I don't, I'm not even sure why he did it, but when he was done giving you a haircut, he would take powder and put it on his hands and then he'd rub it like right on your sideburns and on top of your ears where he just shaved there. Yeah. I don't know if that's a purpose. Make it feel better. I think it's a... Uh, oh, it like pissed my son burn. off and really? we never he never went back. He's really? like, I, I hate that. And we're talking about he was young. I mean, he was really? like seven years old. Like, I'm never going back there. Oh I'm like, God. it was just powder. I don't care. Don't like it. Not doing that anymore. The one time I ever had oh a sha- actual shave shave at a barber... Fit my face and my head like it was all it was it was the best ever. But they put powder. They did put powder for like razor burn. Do you see what kind of powder it was? Yeah, because there's there's yeah, know, stuff that's some, treated. Yeah, hopefully um, it's gold bond. So that's it's, the best powder to use. Oh man, gold bond is. We learned bad. that. Yeah, we learned that in the Marine Corps. We used to dump that gold bond there, and you could walk for twenty miles. Oh. It was great. <laughs> and the first ten of them were oh, magically, oh, yeah. magically oh, that just tingly. That tingle is so good. <laughs> It really is. Oh I, my, I have no idea what you're you talking never, about. None. Zero. You've never tried Gold Bond. No. It's the only, yeah, it's the only thing it's good for. I, d- I have it for my feet. Does it make your feet tingle? It makes your feet feel really good. Oh, my, like, imagine that on your like testicles. My, let's say imagine I don't your have those, so I can't even. <laughs> oh my God. First of all, imagine one thing. And imagine this, and then imagine. The yeah. yeah, then take it one step farther. It's really, really good. I don't know if I can do that. But yeah, in your shoes, I would do it in, my, in my work boots or in my yeah, outdoor, put some of that in there. Make makes your feet feel a lot better. It's definitely Just worth like, it. Okay. Today's podcast sponsored by Gold Bond. Oh, God. Okay. So, the on that note, no- Tingler. <laughs> God. We almost made it. Oh, my God. Almost. Dang it. You can't name it that either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect name for the episode. Perfect. Fred, thank you for coming in. Fred, you no are problem, the man. guys. It's fun just hanging out. I love it. Have a, have a well, Merry Christmas. And- yes. Merry Christmas. If we don't see you before this couple weeks. So. Yeah, and then we'll have to figure out in February if I ever put the tree up. Or if it's yeah. still up. Or if it's still, or if up. It's still up. Tree watch. <laughs> Fremont Fred's tree watch. Awesome. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Click buddy. Off. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you later. Um, 402-403-9478. Text us. Tweet us. Instagram. Facebook. It's Pat and JT. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.